So, as in the title of this video, it is time that we need to be as resourceful as possible, to be as creative as possible, to repurpose, reuse, see what we have sitting around, and what we have, uh, I guess, dragged with us from our move two years ago from California. So, if you have seen all of our videos, um, I believe it was the very first video, mostly pictures, because I was still learning how to edit and make video, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but in that very first video, we used some peeler logs uh, to move our shipping containers, sea containers, storage pods, uh, with the peeler logs under them and with chains around a telescoping, um, like, grade all or forklift. And we moved and loaded our big shipping containers and pods, Egyptian style, using the peeler logs under them. Well, we have dragged those peeler logs with us from California. It's been two years. We've drug them out of storage and they are going to be the corner posts in this backyard fence. So we are trying to use what we have on hand. Behind me here, you could see Piper. We have a bunch of metal tea stakes that uh, we drug with us uh, with our move from California that have been out in the weather and they are collecting rust. And rather than go out and spend a bunch of money on a new batch of um, tea posts, the metal stakes, we just decided to brush off as much of the surface rust as we could, give them a new nice sheeny coat of paint, and use those. And it will be fine, it will serve its purpose, and we will move on. So again, it is time to be resourceful. actually begin doing any work we first needed to get set up. So Ryder took the tractor over to the pile of tea posts. He scooped them up and brought them over to the backyard. We brought the sawhorses and the workstation materials out from the garage and got set up in the backyard. Piper and I immediately got started on cleaning and brushing off the surface rust of the old metal tea posts and painting them black. As you can see here, the pile on the left on the ground is the pile that her and I needed to work through. Take this loop, stick my fingers under there like that. See, I rolled them over. Yeah, I'm just gonna take and pull that. So we get up underneath it, get started. You're doing a cat's paw knot? Yeah, see that? And then that starts your string roll. And you just take and you start winding it up. So you get this thing about halfway full. We use our tractor for so many things. Here we use the bucket to drive the T-post down into the ground, which is faster and quicker.
look beautiful. Yeah, I know they do. I haven't seen them. Yeah. We are trying to use up all that we have. So rather than go buy new ones, we thought, hey, let's utilize the trees in the backyard, salvage the ones that are bent, and try to straighten them. Through solid rock. Okay, it's all sand. Makes me look pretty awesome though, huh? Look at how quick I dug that. Oh yeah. You just your shirt's gonna rip with all the muscles. That's right. Everybody's gonna wonder where my PhD came from. We have been holding on to these for several years. Um, we're re repurposing them. They're not, they're not, you know, perfect condition. We didn't just pull them off the floor at, at Lowe's or Home Depot, but um, for a backyard fence, it will work and it will be fine. Put that post in. And then face the, uh, the teeth. Now what we want to do is see here in the ring. We kind of want it to end up somewhere right about there. Okay. So, let me put it right here on this side where I can drive it. That's not going to work. I think you're right. Okay, so you got to stand over on the other side there. Okay, I'm just going to get it in line. That's about like that. So the idea, Ryder, is that, see ya. The tops of these, we want them to be symmetric, and that'll keep it looking neat. We utilized a scrap piece of lumber to create a stretcher board. We stapled the wire to it and it gave a nice gentle tension to the wire. We chained the stretcher board to the bucket of our tractor to help maintain the tension while we finished the fence. Once again, we are finishing up in the dark. Seems finishing up in the dark seems to be what we do best. We have a lot of days of finishing in the dark, right, honey? Oh, we're becoming special. I know. Got it. We've got the big spotlights on on the house, which is helping to light up the backyard a little bit. But um, yeah, we're getting it done. But we're definitely finishing up here as it's getting dark goes over the top and then back so that as we get our nailing in it just locks 
knocks this whole thing down incredibly tough. Where do you want this chain? Um, see, just set it on top of the toolbox on the uh, tractor. Hey, hey, are you able to see anything? Yeah. Oh, that vision. You must be special forces.